Oh, hey! We were able to fall down here. Which I wasn't aware of us being able to do before. Finally, now I can get somewhere. Oh, wait. Never mind. No, I can't. Shucks. But I can get back to everyone else. What, what difference would that make? Being able to come back here should make no difference. Maybe there's a way down here. Ah, that's it. Uh -huh -huh. Okay. Yes, I did not notice that there was something else down here. And another one for the twins. Wow. Isn't this out of order? Pretty sure that was out of order. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Oh well. At least if uh, I did miss something for her, it's not like we'll never be able to see the end. At least if we collect enough of them. And the dog is asleep. So that was the point of that. Okay. It's all coming together now. By the way, as I was thinking, uh, I suppose that actually we do have some cases where it's just as slow as this, if not slower, to get from place to place. I'm just thinking of like Grim Fandango, for instance. It takes quite a while. Is this poisonous? No? Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here that I'm missing. It does take quite a while, I suppose, to get from one place to a complete another, to completely other place. If you're like running from one part of the map to the other, kind of pending. I don't know. Maybe. What if, uh, hmm. Wonder what that has to do with anything. Could we like choose our route here? Huh. Well. That's interesting. So it seems that our paths divide here. Huh. Possibly multiple times. I was not aware they would do that. <clears throat> well, anyway. Yeah, so I know Grim Fandango and some other adventure games, I suppose, do take quite a while, while to get from place to place. Maybe it's a little different because normally in those cases, it's just like clicking and then you're walking there. While here, it's the involved matter of having to jump and climb and jump and climb and run back and forth and hold your mouse butt down. So it seems more involved and thus a little more annoying. Although, that may just be me. So if that is just me, I apologize. Please do not take it that I'm bitching unfairly at the game. Alright? Please don't. That's not what I'm trying to do. Just trying to be honest, folks. Okay. <clears throat> now. <coughs> rat poison. Oh, <excuse> me. <laughs> you know, if one were to examine this box of rat poison carefully, the instructions would read: one small thimbleful added to food will cause intense, horrifying, and excruciating death. Side effects include tingling, blurred vision, occasional dryness of the mouth, and getting to go outside and play. Well, that's a pretty, pretty loud hint there. Ooh. There you go. Now I gotta wake up the dog, I guess. How am I gonna do that? Well, she'll have to do that somehow. I thought it maybe the... Maybe... Hmm. Can't jump on him. Can I click on him? Nuh-uh. Oh, come on. Shout at him or kick him or something. Gotta be something I can use on the dog here. Wake him up. What? Who said that? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I did go this way. Okay. That's a no-go either. I think that this is something only she can get through somehow. Uh. Okay, well. Let's see, how to wake the dog? Any abilities I have will do that? Hmm. I can't think of any. You know what that means. Ah, pile of bones. And I get a bone. There we are. Maybe it has nothing at all to do with poisoning the dog's food. Maybe. But I think this will do something. Ah. 
There we Please go. Stop your barking. You don't want to upset the twins like the last dog did. Soup is ready and it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long or we might start without you. <laughs> Tee Let's take a little too long, shall we? Because we don't want to exactly have any. I suspect it won't be quite doing as edible. they're told. <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. <sighs> you see, this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside the point. The point is, the twins, well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness, but they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. And as with the rest of our travelers, and perhaps even you, I guess only time will tell. Shall we continue our journey? It's been so enlightening thus far. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> it has been. I, like I said, I love this stuff. I really do. Where did I put the other? Oh, there it is. I really do love this. I just wish that sometimes some of the pace of the puzzles could be kicked up a notch. Instead, there's just a little too much running around. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe. Maybe I just haven't had enough sleep. In any case, let's stop jabbering on about that. And let's go out the front door, shall we? Finally get back into the game. Actually see things happening. Come on. There we go. What a delightful game. I'm sure it's rated E for everyone, right? Nothing to, to potentially find concerning here. Okay. Well, I still have to find a way for them all to get around here. Oh. Well, thank you for that game. I do appreciate that. When you do throw me a, a bone. Haha. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. It actually stays open this time. Nice. Uh, hopefully it's a time traveler's turn. I'd like to see her little story. Huh? Oh, this is just for her, so... Maybe this is it. No doubt you have realized by now that here in the cave, the rules of time and space are not exactly, well, set in stone, so to speak. <laughs> but for the time traveler, time and space are mere playthings. Tools manipulated to pay back petty slights. So, prepare yourselves for a tale of revenge that spans a million years. And remember, even with the best of intentions, time travel can be unpredictable. And with the worst of intentions, well, I guess we're about to see. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was just trying to scare you. <laughs> well, this is what I was waiting for. Okay. Yeah, I, I still say she's gonna try and unmake her far her uh, one co-worker so that she can get a better spot in the company or something. Something a little corny like that. Oh wait, I can drag this apparently. Wow, she is strong. A million years. Hmm. What do I do with this? Oh, I'd rather have the solution in my hands and not know what the what the question is than have the question and not know what the solution is. If you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> oh. Was I ever over this far? Uh, maybe. What the? What would I possibly do with that? Must be something for the past, I'd say. There's not really much I can do with that now. As far as I can see. Let's find out what's down here. This looks kind of like some 50s noir style setting at the moment. Aha! Perfect. Okay, now it's time to go back in time forward to the future, or maybe back to the future. 
Let's find out. Behold, science! Ah. Uh, okay. Nice. Oh, it's you. I thought we fired you. <laughs> Still sore about getting passed over for greatest employee of all time? <laughs> I'm sure you saw my commemorative photo on the way in. Don't feel bad. My family has been working here for generations. I take that back. Do feel bad. <laughs> what a disgusting well, slob. Personality must not be a big hiring point here. Apparently. Ugh. Dino hibernate. What? This exhibit features the ancient combustion engine, or as it was commonly known at the time, the Dino Hibernator. In the early 21st century, humans used these primitive engines to power everything from toothbrushes to toasters, even elevators. Ancient man's addictions to toast and teeth brushing quickly exhausted the world's oil supply. Once the precious substance was finally depleted, Ancient man was forced to find more advanced sources of power. Research that led directly to the modern hoverboot design. It also set the stage for the bad oral hygiene fashion craze we still see to this day. So to those folks who said that this this girl seemed kind of hot, keep in mind she's probably got some terrible halitosis. Uh, uh, what do you mean, uh? uh, -uh. You don't know how to use a freaking elevator button? Okay, so I gotta go back in time and get oil, probably back in like BC times or something, huh? What the? <laughs> Although no actual rang have ever been uncovered, top archaeologists believe they were commonly used as some kind of head accessory from the 1940s to the late 2100s. They came in several styles and colors to project the mood of the wearer. Upon entering a social setting, each person would assess the crowd by the types of ring fusts they were wearing. It is thought that World War I was started when Sir Winston wore a particularly inappropriate ring fuss at a cocktail party with the American President Franklin D. Bon Jovi. Oh, Futurama style <laughs> history jokes. Love it. Futurama is the bomb. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm back up here again. Let me. Let's see what I missed down here. There's something over here to the left. Ooh. A smurg. Oh. No touching the exhibits. Oh, okay. Well, you think that wait, so we work in a museum? What? Archaeologists have yet to determine the original use of the smurg. Thousands of these strange artifacts have been recovered at ancient dig sites around the world. People living in long gone eras often carried several in their pockets at all times, leading some experts to attribute to the smurg a religious or mythological significance. Other historians dismiss this reasoning, claiming a more mundane use by teenage boys to twirl and braid their hair. We may never know the true use of the smurg. What do you think it did? Hmm. Hard to imagine. Let me try. Oh, wait. Greatest yes. employee of all time says, No touching the exhibits! Well, what an insufferable prick, huh? Come on. Don't they just de dematerialize me just because I'm touching your exhibits? Ah. No wonder you want to unmake him. What a jerk. Also, my kitties are in the background, crying to be let free. So, I shall be back once I get a chance to do that. Oh, this is not a really big area. I'm surprised. Well, this looks like a bomb shelter or something. Ooh. <laughs> I love her expression. I want to see that used as a, as an expression image. <laughs> My face win. Durr. Okay, well, I will be right back. I need a chance to let my poor kitties out. <laughs> 